So the day before yesterday was the 76th day of protests in the city of Elizabeth City and the county of Pasquotank County over the police murder of Andrew Brown Jr. And so uh, what we've been doing is we've been doing marches on Main Street. As you can see, this is Main Street where the courthouse is and other city and county buildings are. And uh, then what we do is we get in our cars and we go to county neighborhoods and we basically scream out of the bus and uh, make people understand that our presence is here. We have a presence and uh, that's it. So we did our march. There it is. And uh, that's it. That's the march. And then we got into the vehicles. And so we'll go from there. So what we do is uh, we get into the county, folks. So I put my phone for some classic B-roll. I put my phone in like the corner of the bus next to the window. So it just kind of, you know, gets us traveling. So yeah, we travel into the county neighborhoods uh, that surround the city of Elizabeth City. And we've been protesting um, just because a lot of these people have not interacted with us in any capacity. We've been protesting mostly in Elizabeth City before the county uh, expansion that we did. And so now what we're trying to do is bring the protest to random neighborhoods. Again, I don't know who lives there. Other people might know who lives there, but I don't know who lives there. So it's very possible that uh, we go to some neighborhoods that people who don't like us would, would be living at. Or people that have, you know, instigated against us could be living at. But uh, So anyway, we travel at light speed uh, into the county neighborhoods, as you can see. Bada boom. Right. There you go. We're going fast. And, uh, and that's, and that's what's happening there. So, um, and then, let me see, does this, mm, you can't see it, unfortunately. Hold the phone. Okay, I'm getting my clips in order. But yeah, it's uh, it's fairly difficult to get good footage of uh, the car protests because it's very samey. Like we're just sitting in the bus, and this is what I was trying to say yesterday, but I, I came off very poorly. Uh, we we mostly just sit in the bus and uh, do chants as the bus slowly drives through neighborhoods. And so, like as far as actual footage goes, like as far as art, you know, the artistic aspect, it's fairly difficult. Uh, this is me sneaking out of the bus to get a shot of the cars behind us, as you can see. Uh, so I'm pretty cool. Um, and so that's that's that. So I'm sneaking out of the bus, grabbing a shot. That's me. I'm the artist. Um, and uh, so yeah, so we, we went through. Uh, the, one of my favorite parts, and I don't think that we got uh, the, the footage of it, but one of my favorite parts was we had this guy with a fuck Biden. Uh, uh, sticker on his truck and some other stuff like Trump 2024 all that kind of shit and uh, and then they drove past us obnoxiously and like you know like looked at us funny through the window and then as we were going through the county neighborhood later like 10 20 minutes later we saw their truck uh, in the driveway and it was pretty fucking funny uh, and so you know um, that was entertaining we see a lot of confederate flags out in the county as well uh, it's honestly kind of pathetic but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do? The bus painted black. Uh, that's up to the owner of the bus if they want to paint it black. Uh, but anyway, I would say, yeah, the day before yesterday was a good uh, day of protesting. Um, and uh, now I'm going to go get into yesterday's protest, which was also a good day of protesting. So, again, very similar. Um, I wanted to show this dog picture. This is a dog. As you may see, this is a dog. This dog was with us on the journey yesterday. And uh, this is a beautiful creature. I love this dog. And so, yeah, that's the that's the situation that we were in. Uh, we were dogging it up, folks. I don't know what to tell you. So, um, so we did uh, yesterday, again, we did the march down Main Street. Um, 
And so as you can see, we had a little bit more people yesterday than the day before yesterday. And uh, that was pretty cool. I don't know who that cop was, but you know, they were there. They were existing. As you can see, the dog, the aforementioned dog, um, is right there. And uh, that's that. There's the dog. So we go over here and we get into the bus, folks. Get out of the street and get into the bus. That's that's the motto here. Uh, and so we got out of the street and then we got into the bus. And so, you know, um, that's what we did. Uh, and so, I think we saw some more Confederate flags yesterday too. There's so many Confederate flags out in Pascatank County, man. These motherfuckers are crazy. Like, they really are, like, just batshit bonkers. Like, imagine it's the year 2021 and you've got a Confederate motherfucking flag. You know, the worst part about these motherfuckers as well is that they've got the Confederate flag and the United States flag, right, in the same... And, like, they have them both together. And as you can see, here's a dog. Uh, that dog was sitting right next to us. Uh, and so, yeah. So this is us chanting out of the windows. That's me putting my phone on my lap to drink some water. Uh... And again, we went through some other neighborhoods. We were ma we we're basically trying to hit as many of the na uh, the neighborhoods as we can in the county. And then once we kind of do that, we're gonna start, uh, you know, mixing up tactics. You know, maybe we'll go back to a neighborhood twice. Maybe we won't go back to a neighborhood twice. Maybe we'll go back to a neighborhood five times in a row. Maybe we won't. I don't know. So, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just a participant. Uh, but yeah, so this is us out the window. The phone is on my lap once again. And uh, there you go. So, uh, again, overall, I would say that the protests have been very, very, very positive. Um, I do like the driving protests. I think they're cool. I would like to get back over to marching because I, I think that that's, that's way more entertaining for me personally. I like walking. Uh, here's some, uh, some fields of uh, produce being produced. And as you can see... Uh, this is me putting my phone down once again because I don't know how to how to control myself. The bus is going pretty fast here. You know, we're speeding up through the farms and then, you know, bada boom. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, again, uh, overall, pretty good days of protesting. I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, just everything. I, you know, we've been going for 77 days in a row. Uh, and I think that that's incredible. I think that that shows incredible fortitude. I think it shows incredible grit. I think it shows that, again, uh, you know, like, this is something that people here take seriously. And so, you know, uh, there's a lot of people out there, now that we're going into the county, there's a lot of people out there that just assume that the protest stopped because they stopped reading about it on the news, right? And that's why it's so important that I document as much as I can, because the news is trying to suppress the movement, plain and simple. Uh, like, you know, there's very few outlets that are actually trying to showcase uh, what is going on. Um, and so that's why I find it so valuable to do these daily updates. And so, again, now that we're going into the county, people are being, they're, they're having to be faced with the idea that, yes, these protests haven't stopped. They're not going to stop. And, like, and, and not only are we not going to stop, but we're going to go to your front door if we deem it necessary. And so that's like, you know... It really kind of does show that, again, there's a incredible fortitude in Elizabeth City and Pasquotank County and uh, surrounding areas as well. You know, all my, you know, Currituck and Camden and Dare County friends. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, like, again, it, it's great. The sense of community is great. The sense of camaraderie is fantastic. And uh, all in all, I'm a huge fan of what everything and everyone is doing here. And I, again, I hope that the I hope that the overarching bend of this protest is going to be a positive one. I hope that we do get progress in the end. I don't know when that will be. I don't know how long it will take, but I do hope that we do get something good at the end of this. And again, until that happens, we're not going to stop. Uh, and so that's kind of the idea that we're dealing with here. And uh, yeah, so that's day 60 or day 76 and day 77 uh, protests in the city of Elizabeth City and the county of Pasquotank County over the police assassination of Andrew Brown Jr. on April 21st. Uh, and again, we're not going to stop. And uh, plain and simple. That's all I got for you.